The 53rd book that I've completed in 2024 is Waiting for Gatto, Character Studies by Paul Lawley. This is uh, a book of criticism on what is my favorite play, Waiting for Gatto, a absurdist piece of theater that Samuel Beckett wrote in the 1950s. Um, it Sometimes when I read it, I think there is nothing else that even needs to be written. It's, it's that good. You could just read it again and again and again. I get so much out of it every time I read it. This was a great book that helped me understand the evolution of the writing of the play because Lolly looks at different versions of the play that were produced during Beckett's lifetime and the way that Beckett changed the writing of the plays as they were produced. So when he had a problem with the way a director or actors played any one of the six characters in this, in this play, five if you count the boy as one, um, then he would write and say, don't do it that way. For example, uh, Estragon's pants fall down as a joke all the way to his ankles, and a director had Estragon's pants fall down to his knees, and Beckett did not like that. Beckett's stage directions in Gatto are uh, very meticulous and very controlling. I think that Beckett very much wants his plays done the way he wants them done. Um, so this is a great book to shed understanding on what Beckett's original insights were and then how he evolved the play over the course of about 30 years or so. Um, if you haven't read the play, or I, I would recommend watching the play on YouTube. There's a full version on YouTube that was directed um, by Beckett, and it is excellent. Uh, and this is a good book, a good companion to go along with that, obviously only after you've, you've read the play.